Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you came back because today we are doing some fall baking. I just want to bake a few things and I wanted to bring you along. Hello, but I'm not, dre I'm not dressed. Okay, so now I'm ready. So join me in my kitchen while I bake some pumpkin donuts. Set the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So as per usual, we'll start with the dry ingredients. The dry ingredients include one cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, one quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll add the recipe down in the description box. So once I've added all the dry ingredients together, I'm just going to whisk them, them together to break up any lumps or bumps or anything so that it can be smooth. Then I'll get my wet ingredients together. The wet ingredients include two tablespoons of butter, melted, a third of a cup of pumpkin puree, a third of a cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of milk, I use evaporated milk because I'm old school, one egg, and I mix that together. Then I'll add my vanilla extract, which is a teaspoon. So now that I have all my wet ingredients together, I'm going to whisk them together until they become smooth and all combined. Now I'll add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. I had to bring out that spatula, that rubber spatula, so that I could get all of those ingredients incorporated together. Okay, now that all my ingredients are together, I can put them down into a um, Ziploc bag so that I can pipe them into the donut Pan. I don't have a piping bag because I used them all for Peyton's birthday. So let's cut the tip off the bag so that you can pipe. Let's get our pan ready. I like to spray with the butter spray and then it's time to pipe. You know, I had to use all of the batter in the bag. Then I'm going to tap my pan down on, t on the counter to get the air out of the batter. Now they're ready to go into the oven. Yay! They'll bake for 10 to 12 minutes. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to wash up these dishes because, you know, I can't stand all that stuff clutter around me. Okay, let's wipe the countertop off and get ready to make the glaze.
Okay, so the glaze consists of confectioner sugar that I sift because I don't like knots in my confectioner sugar so we can make it smooth. Cinnamon, milk, pumpkin spice maple syrup. I got this from Aldi's and it is pretty good. It really adds something to it. Then once I get all of those ingredients together, I'm just going to stir it until it has a nice um, consistency. It, it's kind of thick. You'll dip those donuts so it, it doesn't have to be really thin, but it has to be thick enough to sustain the dipping. Okay, so my taste tester and helper is here. Aubrey stayed with us for the weekend. Um, and so here she is. Hi, say hi, Aubrey. Go, go follow her on her channel, Aubrey's World. Okay, go on. She doesn't like sprinkles. We did sprinkles for Noah and Peyton. You like it? Mm -hmm. mm, look at that. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> so you there you have it. Mm. Ari's seal of approval. Okay, folks. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee and my donut, clean my kitchen, and I'm going to get to baking something else, and I'll invite you for that. Be blessed. Bye.